Dr. Gwen Vaughn on the Auburn Medical Group channel on YouTube. This yes. is a good channel to watch where you can get good medical information, right? Yes. Still says start a preview, but hopefully people are. But we want to seeing tell us. our viewers that they can watch to get good medical information on the Auburn Medical Group YouTube show. This one's on what topic? Vaping. Vaping. Which is a uh, which we will not demonstrate for you no. on this show for many reasons. One of them being, it might get us demonetized. <laughs> Probably, huh? I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't. I wouldn't put it past YouTube to demonetize us for vaping on a show, but but we don't want to. We don't want to promote no, it. And we'll we tell you why. We don't want, and we'll tell you why. Still trying to get this so working, all so you I don't people, know if we're going. Are we going? Yeah, That's we're like going, and we got, well. Are we? The viewers, the viewers are still finding us. We'll say it that way. <laughs> But, but if somebody watches this after the but, but live people recording, say they're like on here. Okay, well, we can. So they say hello. We can oh, look at who's I on there. I never vaped in my life, so we must be going. Okay, they know. Yeah, so we got Bianca and Laura Spurs. Yes, our, uh, Bianca, Laura, thank you. We, uh, shout out to you first, because you are. Yes, channel members. members are preferred. Yes. That's right. And then we've got some, a few other people joining us, too. Hey, so. and maybe we'll even get a super chat this week. Maybe. That'd be exciting. We're not doing the phones this week, so if you call on the uh, phone, there's not going to be any answer. I don't think I deleted the number from the description before starting the show, but uh oh, don't there, call there, it. There is no, <laughs> there is no voice live Sorry. call. Uh, you will get a. But there is super chat, and channel members, and yeah. they we are just talking to our channel members. We're talking about vaping, vaping, inhaling a vapor, uh, smoking without the combustion. I guess is what it is, right? Um, yeah, get, well, it, yeah, it's not true combustion. It's just lighting, heating up something so that it becomes vaporizes vapor. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, uh, apparently it's become much more popular in the younger age group, high school students. Yep. Um, uh -huh. I think yeah, that's the big worry. I think somebody wrote in the yearbook last year, Hey, who put toilets in the vaping room? <laughs> yeah, I've heard that one, but <laughs> I don't have kids in high school, so. <laughs> I think I read that in the yearbook. Wow. That was like somebody's senior quote. Uh, well, people are coming in saying all sorts of stuff. Uh, Bianca said she tried it once but hated it. Good for you. Glad you stopped. Good for uh, trying it. Not for trying it, but for hating don't, it. Don't even try. Stopping it. Just don't even try. So we'll tell don't you why try. you want to stop. But some people are saying, I'm getting my son to stop. I want to get stop. my daughter to stop. Stop. And that's stop. the thing. You hear these people talking about their don't sons vape. and daughters. It's the younger it's, people. Yeah, people in their 20s or younger than that in their teens. Yeah. Apparently right um, now it's legal to advertise for it. And yeah, whatever. I've seen those advertisements. Whatever the advertisements are, they're totally they're working, working on the younger segment. Right. Yeah. Um, the uh, the Truth Project, which is kind of the... Um, no, that's that's the focus on the family thing. The is Truth that, Project. There's Well, they're the ones that have done some of the research. It's called that's Truth, a, but it's not the Truth Project. Not Truth Project. <laughs> the Truth About Something. I don't know. But I know the one you're talking about, but, yeah, but anyways, there is, about there it. is a, um, people who have done a lot of studies on this and, and yeah. it, the, um, uh, the statistics for high school aged kids on who's doing it, who's been exposed to, um, lots. uh, lots. Yeah. Vaping ads. It's Was it like crazy. a quarter of them have done it in the last, in the last 30 days, last 30 days. Yeah. And I think it's more than a third have, uh, I think it's 40% or so have done it at all. And that's two out of every five teenagers. That's yeah. scary. Those are scary statistics. Yeah. So this is essentially the new uh, smoking or cigarette crisis of our, uh, of, of our the 2000s. Yeah, of our time. Of right now. So um, it's, uh, it's kind of like when um, drug companies... Uh, rebrand something so that they can monetize. No, just kidding. Uh, we we had that conversation last week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's essentially uh, cigarette companies or tobacco companies rebranding everything to get people hooked again. That's yeah. kind of the long and the short of it. Uh, and yeah. they're get they're targeting the younger audience, much like the the uh, tobacco, uh, big tobacco did back in the what seventies and eighties. Um, or before that, 60s, 70s, probably when that yeah. all started. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's a big issue. So the reason this is a big issue is because, and, and why it's been in the media so much, is because of this new illness that has been associated with it. And that's why we're talking about it. Right, because it has become a medical issue. It was before, but now it's at the forefront of the CDC 
uh, because there is this new uh, diagnosis called vaping associated pulmonary injury or VAPI, V-A-P-I, however you want to say it. I don't okay. know if there's a good good way to say it, but um, it, it's affecting younger people and people have died from it. So I, um, you can read the blog. Uh, that was from last week, but it's actually been updated and it's now, I think, over 800 cases of this. Um, and even some here in California, and people are, are dying from it. Young people, young otherwise healthy people yeah. are getting this uh, respiratory illness, which is not an infection um, and does not respond to antibiotics uh, that sends them to the ICU and they need oxygen, they need support. And that's pretty much all we can do is just support them uh, through intubation, through giving them oxygen. Sometimes steroids can help a little. Get um, the inflammation down. Yeah, to get, decrease the inflammation, but really we don't have a good treatment and even a good understanding of this. So it's scary. Uh, it's definitely the, the wild west of, uh, of that. So Support it until it blows over and they heal. Yeah, pretty much. And and all the ones that have come through it, it's just time. Yeah, getting through it. Uh, and, and not much that we do as doctors, but it's just um, having your body kind of fight it yeah, off. If you have to be intubated and if you have to get steroids, that, that is something that has to be done by the doctors. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Um, and I uh, and people are dying, like we said, which is uh, scary. Uh, so so they're doing all sorts of research to try to figure out why this is happening. Um the original thought was THC-laced uh, um, vaping products. Yeah, some early reports were saying that it's more common in people that had products with THC in it. Right. Yeah, and but it's not exclusive to it. Right. Yeah, people have had this who have not ever done anything with THC. Now, that's not to say that maybe it was laced in it and they didn't know it, but uh, they're now finding. I think the statistic I read today was seventy-seven percent of these uh, have come from THC-laced. Um, uh, vaping products. So, uh, and the other thing along with that is vitamin E. Apparently, vitamin oh, yeah. E oil is uh, something that is used to uh, in marijuana to, um, I guess, break it down, make it more potent, whatever it is. What it would, it's some sort of delivery agent. But and, still, that's um, not 100%. With yeah, these cases that's the either. thing. We don't have any good idea. So, um, it's baffling all of us. So, that's kind of led them to think it's actually just something inherent in the the vaporization process, which it could be something. That's yeah. Like, yeah. So even, uh, the, the director of the CDC said it could just be the process of vaping that is causing this, which is scary. So it doesn't matter um, what you put in it. Yeah. Just vaping, just period, the vaping, product, regardless yeah. of what's in it could be causing vaping associated pulmonary injury. Right. So the current recommendation, don't vape, don't do it at all. Just um, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, um, back to Nancy Reagan. There Just you go. No. There you go. Yeah, it is back to Nancy Reagan. So, so um, yeah, that's uh, kind of the long and the short of it at this point. Until we have more information, just stop. Don't vape. If you are somebody who does, I'm sure um, you, there probably is some addiction there to the to the nicotine that's in it, but um, or the tobacco. Uh, but yeah, stop nicotine. or try some other um, form of replacement. Uh, Something else. Not smoking. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't go from vaping to smoke, but, you know, try not processed meat, not <laughs> some other class one carcinogen <laughs> hot dog. That would be a, <laughs> I guess you could uh, no. don't, don't smoke it though. Yeah. So yeah, back to your so, comments. Let's see, lots let's see of what comments. you guys are saying. Lots of, lots of comments. We so appreciate lots those. of channel members and yeah, we'll get those. Bianca says, I want to stop smoking eventually, but it's hard. I managed for three months. Yeah. Don't vape to do it. Um, yeah. Currently uh, that's, that's kind of how this all started. It was, it was, um, billed as this great way you can transition off of smoking. That's safer. Yeah. And who came now, up with that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that was probably a far spied big tobacco, unfortunately, but, um, don't don't even do it to de get off smoking at this don't, point. Don't 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 do it. No. Uh, somebody says, "Oh, Bianca says Chantix." Yes, we have Chantix here in the states too. Chantix, uh, yeah. and it does work. I will try it again one day. It does work. You're right. Chantix is. Uh, it's actually surprising how pretty effective, how well accepted yeah. it is by patients. A lot of. <gasps> Oh my goodness! Hey, who did that? It's who was it? Robert Antonio. Robert Antonio. I don't know if I've Look ever what you read did. It. Thanks. Oh my goodness. Oh, thanks for the awesome YouTube chats, the <laughs> discussions, and the way you interact with us. <laughs> well, we appreciate Robert, that's your awesome, interaction. Man. Look at that. It works. Hey, <laughs> it's a party. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I gotta turn it off now. <laughs> thanks for that. We appreciate that, Robert. <laughs> it doesn't turn off by itself. That is so cool. Hey, Robert, right. thank you. 
Yeah, super chat works. Okay, it works. All right, <laughs> that's great. So what does Robert, startled us? This is Reed Roberts again. He did a super he chat. Said, Read it again. Thanks for your awesome YouTube chats. The discussion and the way you interact with us is great. Oh, that's really nice, uh, Robert. Thanks. And Bianca and Laura Spur say, "Yay, super chat!" Way to oh, go, Robert. Bianca and Laura. Yeah, are our members too. are cheering them on. We appreciate our it. members. Yes. Rio okay. says, "Wow, awesome." We were talking about Chantix. Chantix. So back yeah. to our oh, interaction oh, with the audience. The audience and yes, yeah, interaction with the audience. Thank you, Robert. Right. Yes. Thank you, Robert. Yes, Robert Antonio. Robert. <laughs> so now you got everybody knows what Super Chat is. <laughs> the uh, Chantix is sometimes not taken up by patients. Sometimes they won't do it because it's it's kind of expensive. It is. Yeah. It's it's not generic, so it's but, still name brand only. But I can't think of a patient who's used Chantix who isn't spending less money. Right. Yeah, I, I've had people who because are of it. successful, even if it's just for like it's an three months, <laughs> but they're successful. It can be three months of Chantix before yeah. they quit. Uh, but yeah, and that's the recommendation to do three months of it. But, but I have some people who have actually done longer on it. But to quit smoking, at, at least in states with high uh, taxes on like, the cigarettes. Like California, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would, it's totally worth it. it. Yeah, so. it, do, do your math. Figure out, okay, so if the chant, find out how much the Chantix will cost through your pharmacy or your drug benefit. Actually, we should look it up on, uh, while you talk to them, I'll look it up yep. on. I'll, I'll answer some questions here while okay. we're at it. I'm going to look um, up how much it would cost on single have care. Have you had any kids that have suffered from this? No, we, I, we have not it. personally. And even um, patients, we no, we have not. Not in our office. Nothing. And I, there's not really, there hasn't been anything at our hospital. I'm sure we would have gotten a, a notification if yeah. that happened. Um, let's Sh see Should I here. tell patients what I'm doing to check the price? Um, so, sure. So what I'm doing is... Looking up uh, singlecare.com and single, this is for people in the US anyway, singlecare.com and then you put in the name of your medicine and it'll show you local pharmacies and a cash price for it. Did you know that uh, for NHS, it only costs her eight pounds? Eight and a half pounds? Eight and a half pounds. There that's, you go. That's for how much? I don't know. That was probably a month's worth, I would imagine, but... Anyways, back to questions. You're looking that up. Okay. I was I was going to answer Laura Spurs' question. We'll go back to our members here. She said, "What about the tobacco ones? Talking about vaping, are they as dangerous as the flavors?" Well, actually, um, uh, what the CDC is recommending is that all the flavor ones be removed from the market because those are the ones that they're targeting uh, younger audiences with. So what the uh, CDC, was it the CDC? No, the AMA, what they said, let's just remove um, all of the, the flavored ones because we don't want to try to hook kids. Let's just leave the tobacco ones. Um, I think the reason the AMA said that is so that they can still have that transition. Truly, with what we know now, we shouldn't make any recommendations for it at all. Um, but yeah, they're, they're trying to start some uh, legislation to make it go through an approval process and that would essentially remove all of the flavored products because only tobacco has been approved by the FDA at this point. I Even though it's causing vaping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, well, so, the CDC and the, the FDA need to get on the same page there apparently. But um, yeah. So I looked up on both singlecare.com and goodrx.com. These are great websites for you to use if you're trying to find the cash price for medicine. And you'll have to have either a card or print out a coupon or just take your phone with the, the, the code on it from the, the website to get the discount if it costs less than it would with your insurance for a drug. So for Chantix on GoodRx, it's, it's 420 to $500 a month. Hmm. Yikes. And on single care, about $500 yep. a month and up yep. from there. Now, you may find That's that your a lot of insurance uh, will cover it. Yeah. Insurance does insurance. have um, a vested interest in you quitting smoking. So some insurances will cover it yeah. Yeah, or at least make it a very reduced price um, because they don't want you smoking either because smoking is going to increase how much they need to pay out for the problems that come with smoking. So. Thanks to not being able to exclude or charge more based on pre-existing conditions, right. which is currently this the case in the United States. Right. That is mm -hmm. a very, very, very good provision in the Affordable Care Act that is in effect now. Yes. We don't Although want there, to roll there that back. there is court action being done by the Trump administration to get rid of that because they want to get rid of, mm. well, I, I, I guess our, do you, let's see, one of our representatives, uh, McClintock, I guess yeah. he also doesn't like having this exclusion for pre-existing conditions. 
I, I and, don't and know without why it, you would, yeah. people who have you won't get insurance. It's it's a horrible thing. Yeah, th yeah, or um, or it'll be cost so much it's just unobtainable. Yeah, cost so hundred, we yeah. want to keep that provision for that needs to stay. not being able to charge or yes. reject patients based on pre-existing conditions. We will, will get we will get political about that. It will it cost helps so many. People. It will cost healthy people more for their yeah, insurance. Yeah, that's true. It will, but it allows us to actually have something there for people who who have been diagnosed already with right. diabetes or hypertension yes. yeah, or you kidney see those disease. People. Or, yeah. And if they can't get insurance, they're usually di di diagnoses yeah. that come with medications or frequent office visits, which or they need insurance yeah. for. So, yeah. Uh, Laura Spurs says, cigarettes here are $10. I don't know where Laura is, but um, she did Chantix and quit smoking for two years. Wait, wait. And then started up again. This is Laura Spurs. Oh, so, so what yeah. are we going to do? Do it again. Try it again. Chantix again. Time to quit. If it worked. I believe got, you can do it, years. Laura. You I, can do it. That's a bummer. You have to spend the money. Yeah. Again. Yeah. But hey, but, but it works it. for you. And do you, had, and do you do know do that it works. Won't that be great when Chantix is generic? Oh, that's going to be wonderful. That'll yeah. be cool. Yeah. Maybe, um, I'll, maybe if I'll take Chantix... up smoking just so I can quit when Chantix goes <laughs> generic and save that money. <laughs> And pay all that money for the cigarettes that you're now going to save. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, maybe that doesn't work. Yeah. Um, let's see. It was a two-week supply for 850 or eight, eight, uh, eight and a half pounds. Um, That's great. I had to go to a clinic. That's great. Fortnightly. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. I love it. That's what she I said. Love. I was just about to ask if, <laughs> if, if it's if it's pounds instead of dollars. What is it instead of months? There you go. And it actually it's, was it's fortnightly. Fortnightly. I was, I was, I was, <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I try and come up with a joke and it's real. It's real. Oh. That's cool. Thank you. Right. Fortnightly. <laughs> um, Every time she plays a video game. Yeah. yeah Fortnite. Fortnightly. Lee, Lee. <laughs> Do you fortnightly? <laughs> uh, somebody said they had seizures and migraines and Chantix made those worse. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, if you have seizures, don't There are some things I'm you sorry. need to look out for with that yeah, medication. It's, it's not for everybody. Um, and one of them, that the she, things to look out for that. is uh, uh, emotional lability um, going really high, really low, especially really low and having some um, depression, possible suicidal thoughts. That's a what, big thing to look out for. What if your emotions are really high when somebody super chats? Uh, don't give them... Dutch Brothers? <laughs> I didn't have Dutch Brothers today. Not today. You were excited too. Not as he, I was your handler at that time. No, I mean when the... Oh, I was excited about that, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about last weekend. He's talking about last week. <laughs> we had a, a conference and uh, somebody decided to treat us to um, Dutch Brothers, which is coffee, but beforehand. the company. And uh, somebody decided to get, what was it, a double... Kicker, some no, 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 something no, no. that had like double a, trouble was double it? trouble, something with a lot of shots. Of en enough wait, to make him wait, the, will you, will you Please clarify shots of what? It's not alcohol. Espresso. Espresso. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I had to be his handler for the weekend. Keep him from. I was good. Your, pre your pressured speech and I did have pressured speech. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, it was fun. Laura Spurs is from East San Diego. Why are you in the same Diego. time zone as us? East Excellent. San Diego. Huh. There, I guess there actually is an East San Diego. Let's even see, though East there is San Diego, not. I think of um, well, uh, Santee or Escondido. I, Escondido? Is that Maybe. Sure. I think I'd say from East San Diego, too, if I was from Escondido. <laughs> I'm from East don't, San Diego. Don't, don't. <laughs> We're offending all of our guests <laughs> again. There, there is an Escondido. <laughs> There is an East San Diego, although there is not a South Detroit. Oh. I lived in San Diego for four years. Went to school there. Point Loma Nazarene University. I've never even been to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Born and raised in South Detroit. All right. Anyways, do you get free contraceptives over there or do you charge for that too? This is Bianca. Oh, uh, we do charge for contraceptives here. In East San Diego? Uh, Bianca yeah, they is asking, charge for yeah, in East San Diego, I'm sure they, they do. They charge for contraceptives in East San Diego. El Cajon. <laughs> they, East San Diego. <laughs> Which is Spanish for well, if there was the a, Cajon. I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, if there was another town right next to it with the same name, it'd be Los Cajones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyways. Oh, we're losing our. Yeah, sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry, you two. We're, we're, it's all just downhill from here. <laughs> Back to vaping. This is when people. This is when people view. Tune in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Turn, is, turn the dial is, on their this computer. This is why they watch us because we can never stay on topic. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, um. Anyways, it's been a good show. Let's see. Tanil, the one with seizures and other seizures, says, my doctor definitely didn't tell me not to take it. Well, I'm sorry, um, but you didn't get some I'd, informed I'd, consent yeah, there. I'd, yeah, I, I, no, hmm. with the seizure situation, what was the other one? Seizures and headaches? Let's see, I, somebody else took it and said it didn't work because of all the other meds that I take. Uh, now, I did have a patient last week who talked about Chantix and said they liked the dreams yeah, it can give you vivid dreams. They thought it was cool. It wasn't bad dreams. It wasn't nightmares. It was just vivid dreams. Yeah. So they, they really got into it. Oh, the meaning is the box. Cajon, box. I get, yeah, I took Spanish. Oh, like the uh, uh, the instrument that people tap on. Is that called the ca cajon? I think Ethan calls it that. The cajon? I think so. It's a box. <laughs> uh, Bianca says it's why she watch, watches. Because we can't stay on topic. We get off topic. And it just degrades. Maybe. Anyways, for those of you who would like actual medical information, tune in for the first 15 minutes. <laughs> well, sometimes we're still doing our introduction stuff. So. That's right. It's tune in, in. Yeah, it's in there. Well, actually, there was a lot of good medical information. Read your if blog. If you want more, just go read my blog. That I didn't link to, sorry. DrGreenKnight.com. Yeah. It'll come up. Okay. Check it out. Learn everything you need to know about vaping, which the long and the short of it is, <laughs> don't do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Um, let's see here. We could summarize it in that. <laughs> That's pretty simple. Are you laughing at the comments? No, I'm oh, laughing okay. at us being... Man, we us. have a lot of people who are channel Look members. at all those. It's Bianca that and is Laura really cool. Spurs. They are very Bianca interactive. Bianca and Laura Spurs. They, yeah. they got it going. Okay. And Robert. And so Robert. Now, now you all know about the Super Chat. It's, Antonio. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So... I think we so, we answered all your questions. Hopefully we did. I if I so. if I missed anything, that was a good show. Oh, there's something about THC. So THC, um, THC, tetrahydrocannabinoid. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be smoking it. You probably shouldn't be vaping it. So yeah. what should we be doing with THC? Oh, hey, nice little story. Oh, so I drove. Tell us story. I drove over 800 miles last weekend, which was not a restful weekend, but I'm glad I did it because it was for a good cause. But anyways, I went up to Oregon. And in Grants Pass, if you go a little... There's the Dutch Brothers. There's like five <laughs> uh, just along the road that I was driving. That's like their capital headquarters. It's or very close to there, yes. Yeah, anyways, back to... Back to... Um, uh, I was driving. It's 99 that you go west on this. And uh, marijuana is legal in Oregon. Okay. And right on 99, there's a grow. Right there. Right nice there. big crop right on the side you're driving by. You can yeah. see it. Saw somebody trimming it. And then... Even better, my, my in-laws are moving up there. Went out to the house with my in-laws, which is pretty rural. That They're out kind of in the country. As you're driving out to their place, there's another grow. Just right there. Right there. Just people right there. Like, we're talking like 100 crops. We're, we're talking a lot of marijuana. Up. Anyways, back to what should we be doing with marijuana okay. if you should not be smoking it or vaping it? Rubbing it on your skin? Well, they make these topical preparations of it. Yeah, I actually have recommended that for some yeah. of my patients. I don't think there's yeah. any much harm, except for maybe an okay. allergic, topical allergic reaction. Let's, but let's revisit the eating. Yes. Consuming marijuana. So it's, it's not the ideal delivery because of the variability of absorption. So depending on what's on your stomach, it may or may not get absorbed quick. There's been this... People who are familiar with it often talk about how people will overdose. Now, when eating because it's a slower uh, onset? Yeah, overdose is not a real term you can apply to marijuana because you, you can't really yep. overdose. You just get a lot of it. But that's the thing. They'll get a lot more than they need because it's just so slowly absorbed. Now, if you have a fatty meal, it'll be absorbed better uh, because it absorbs better through the, uh, anyway, through the fats. Yep. Fat-based absorption. Um, so if you can find a consistent way to get the effect yeah, through eating that's, a regular that's a amount. That's tough thing. I mean, even the oils aren't a, there's not a um, consistent uh -huh. um, uh, concentration. So yeah. it's kind of the Wild West at this point as far as uh, there's no not the regulation that needs to be done. There needs to be something done to to make sure people aren't, aren't getting too much, too little. 
Well, well, not too little, but <laughs> not not. Uh, no, there's not really a too much. I don't know how to do that. Though, yeah, I mean. you can't. It, it, yeah, studies have been done on rats, and they have fed rats marijuana, THC, uh, their like weight of it, and they still don't die. So you can't really. There's how not. How do you feed something its weight of anything? I don't Over know how much these time. rats apparently can do it. But <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we. How the, about the gummies? That would be still be consuming it. So same thing. Well, everybody talks I don't know. About. Maybe it provides for a consistent delivery of it. Maybe. So Maybe the oil different. is a more consistent way. I don't know. Like yeah. I said, this is something that needs to be we need studied more research. further. Yeah. yeah. And, and I will say we do need it. It's not something that needs to be ignored, as some would right. say. Very few. I mean, people actually know the yep. science would not say stay away completely from marijuana. I think, right. I think anybody that knows, has medical knowledge, would say it, it needs study. We, we need better information. Right. We need controlled trials. Uh, we need some regulation, so not just whatever is sold to you and told. Yeah, told you don't know. What you, so you don't know what you're getting. Oh yeah, right. this was raised with no pesticides and organically here, and you find out it's got. It's laced with. Uh, uh, what is it? Speed or? No, no. Uh, it was uh, ecstasy. Oh yeah, that's what it yeah, was. Yeah, we've actually had that in our office. We're in test for somebody who just had took somebody else's weed. Yeah, it was late. So with ecstasy. let's get some control here on this before we start using. So it. Bianca made a nice little comment here, which I'll I'll, I'll comment on myself. Okay. My son was a part of a raid on cannabis plants in a nightclub, and his uniform stank for days. So yes, <laughs> oh in, he was the in, one doing the raid. Yeah, yeah, up okay. in up in Oregon, right. um, you you smell it like you drive by it and you get you can that, smell the plant. Yeah, you get that. The Thick plant marijuana does, smell. My experience has been because there's a lot of it growing in the ditches in uh, Nebraska, yeah. where I do my. Run. They're not like probably concentrated as closely as or some as much. places. Some places it's like a grove. Really, uh, yeah. just from natural. Maybe it's, maybe weed. it's just like the the way that but they're cultivating it. I don't it, mind the smell was, of the plant. It's not well, as pungent as the smoke. Yeah, the, the smell of paint still isn't good. We we yeah. kept driving through, and my my in laws, um, oh my dear sweet in laws, they said, "What is that skunk smell?" <laughs> oh come, they're not that naive, are they? <laughs> they they thought it wasn't it, but yeah, it was the marijuana smell. <laughs> they're not anymore. They live in Oregon. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's a policeman. Like the, the, the yeah. guy's shoes. Okay. <laughs> That'd be why. Lotion. Somebody says they use lotion. I know that everybody's telling us how I, they I take I really their, wonder uh, about marijuana. consistency of absorption, but hey. I don't know. I don't think there's much risk, it's, though. It, yeah, I, I, I would agree. It's yeah. probably very low risk. Uh, I'm not going to tell somebody not to do that. Yeah. I, people say an oil. Really don't see a lot uh, of bad Some people saying it's 10 times better than their morphine. So, yeah, actually, probably 10 times if, more safe than your morphine, if, actually. Yeah, if you, so. if you are getting that benefit from it, I am not going to tell you not to use it. Yeah. Um, so I'd, yeah, most people aren't getting real good pain relief. Yeah, like we were hoping. So, in, in summary, ways. don't vape. If you like marijuana, move to Oregon. And with that, <laughs> I'm Dr. Gwen Vaughn. And you want to thank? Uh yes, I do. Boo Boo Kitty and Teresa Roat. Thank you for your yes. support. Appreciate it. And and Lindsay Antoine. Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. We appreciate it. Until next time, Dr. Gwen Vaughn and Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you. Don't don't vape. <laughs> that, that's it. That's the that, message. That's, that's the that message. is the message of the show. Yes. Don't vape. Don't vape. <laughs>